After a long day, it's time to relax with some music. What should I listen to today? Hmm, maybe some R&B or jazz? Hmm, Nia Simone. Ain't got no, I got life. Ain't got no home. Nah. Hmm, Bill Withers. Ain't no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Perhaps Marvin Gaye. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low. What's this ain't word that I keep saying? You know, isn't it frustrating when you're listening to a song or you're watching a TV series and they keep saying some strange word that you can't understand the meaning of? Well, in today's lesson, we are going to learn to understand and even use one of the most common slang words in English, ain't. But before we start, every single week we help learners just like you go from being a lost and insecure English learner to being a confident and natural English speaker, just like we're doing today by teaching you to use the word ain't just like a native. So if that sounds like something that you want to be able to do, then be sure to join our community of over 300,000 by hitting that subscribe button and the bell down below and you won't miss a single one of our new lessons. Now slang is any word or phrase that you will not find in a traditional grammar book. Slang is generally used in more informal contexts. Now, although anyone can use slang from a little kid up to an old grandma, from a businessman to someone who lives on the street, usually we'll see it used more by people who maybe aren't as educated or by young people, especially amongst each other. However, ain't is an interesting word because it's not just used by young people and it's not just used by uneducated people or people on the street. We can even find celebrities like Ellen use ain't all the time. And finally, in any sort of artistic expression, be it songs or be it even literature, you can find slang used. So let's take a look at some common uses of the word ain't. All right, I've been using my teacher English and I've been saying ain't, but it's pretty rare that you'll actually find a native speaker saying it in this way. We'll actually usually use a glottal T. Let's listen to the difference. Ain't, 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 ain't. All right, now that you know how to say it accurately and inaccurately, let's take a look at the meaning of ain't. Okay, so ain't is usually used as a negative form of the verb to be, any conjugation of it. Let's look at some examples. I'm not tall. I ain't tall. You aren't rich. You ain't rich. He isn't short. He ain't short. She isn't Brazilian. She ain't Brazilian. It isn't cold. It ain't cold. We are not dancers. We ain't dancers. They aren't smart. They ain't smart. <laughs> and that's not all. This word ain't also replaces the auxiliary verbs have not and has not. Let's take a look at some more examples. So I haven't been to Japan. I ain't been to Japan. You haven't gotten to know her. You ain't gotten to know her. He hasn't traveled far. He ain't traveled far. She hasn't seen that movie. She ain't seen that movie. We have never eaten in that restaurant. We ain't never eaten in that restaurant. They haven't called her yet. They ain't called her yet. So when you learn new words and phrases, it's really important that you start using them as soon as possible in your speaking. However, many learners from around the world have told me that their biggest frustration is they just don't have enough opportunities to use their English with other people. That's exactly why we decided to go ahead and solve this problem by creating the Real Life app. Now this app is the only place where at the touch of a button, you can instantly connect for a fun and dynamic conversation with another English speaker in another part of the world. So you can talk about things like your life, other cultures, your passions, your hobbies, or even just the weather if you want. So why don't you give it a try? It's absolutely free. You can go there, have a conversation with someone and try using the word ain't. You can download it now by clicking up here or down the description below, or simply search for real life English in the Apple app or Google Play Store. So guess what? You can also use the word ain't in questions. All you have to do in that case is place it before the subject of that sentence. Let's take a look at some examples to make this clear. So, aren't you American? I could also say is, ain't you American? So did you notice that we also often shorten the word you to ya? And then we'll connect these two because we have a T and a Y. So instead of saying, ain't you, we'll say, ain't you or ain't ya? Isn't she a doctor? Ain't she a doctor? Isn't he a basketball player? Ain't he a basketball player? 
So again, you might have noticed some connected speech here. It's very common to hear isn't he instead of isn't he, and just as common to hear ain't he instead of ain't he. So let's check out some more examples of connected speech with this word ain't. You're a taxi driver, ain't you? Or he's a basketball player, ain't he? And speaking of pronunciation and connected speech, check out Andrea's explanation of the word in it, which is commonly used in British English. So in the UK, people do still use the word ain't a lot, especially in the Cockney accent, for example. However, another slang word you'll hear is the abbreviation in it. It's probably one of the most used British slang words out there. It's an abbreviation of isn't it? which is in fact a question tag. In case you're not sure what this means, question tags are used at the end of sentences to encourage a response from whoever you're speaking to. An example is, it's so cold today, isn't it? Which we shorten to, it's so cold today, isn't it? However, in it can be used as a question tag, not only for isn't it, it can also be used as a replacement for other question tags, such as, didn't you, don't you, aren't you? For example, you might say, you like ice cream, don't you? But instead you would say, you like ice cream, innit? You like ice cream, innit? So you can also hear there that we cut off that final T in innit, so it sounds more like innit, innit. And instead of saying, you're a lawyer, aren't you? You could say, you're a lawyer, innit? You're a lawyer, innit? Not only is innit used as a tag question, but it's also commonly used as a response to a question. So you could also say, it's so cold today, and a response could be, innit? So you're agreeing using this informal word instead of, I agree, or it is. All right, now it's your turn to share. Where have you seen the word ain't used? Maybe in your favorite series or in a movie that you love? Why don't you share down in the comments below some of the most fascinating uses of the word ain't that you've encountered in your English learning. All right, are you ready to test your knowledge of English grammar? Let's go ahead and quiz you on what you learned with ain't today. So we're going to show you some questions and for each one, you need to determine which word is ain't replacing. All right, you ready? Let's go. So the first one, I ain't gonna tell you. You ain't got any money. She ain't gonna call him. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone. I ain't seen that movie. That book is great, isn't it? You went to the pub last night, innit? Hi, oh, yeah, I hope you've had a lot of fun learning more about one of the most common slang words in English, ain't. And next time you encounter this word, then you'll surely know exactly what it means. And you can even start trying to use it in your speaking. Just make sure that the person that you're speaking to also knows what ain't means. Or maybe it's an opportunity for you to teach them. And that's absolutely one of the best ways for you to deepen your knowledge of it. But if you still have any questions about the word ain't, no problem. That ain't no problem at all, in fact. You can let us know down in the comments below and we'd be happy to help you out. And if you want to continue on your English learning journey with us, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out this next lesson that you're gonna love. So in school, they actually teach you to speak in a way that is different than how we natives speak in real life. 
So not only can this leave you speaking a little bit like a robot if you're just relying on what you learn in school, but you're also going to find it very difficult to understand natives. For example, if you want to watch a TV series without subtitles, or if you want to travel to an English speaking country. 